Suzanne Bowen with DIDX and the blog at TMCNet.com as well as Techathon and Astrocom media channels at 4G World 2011. It's the third day of the conference, the second day of the expo, and we're here with Warren Bent. He is the co-founder and VP of Business Development at In Charge Systems. Now, he's also an advisory board member of the highly respected Illinois Institute of Technology Real-Time Communications Lab here in the Chicago area. In Charge Systems is also the creator of Asserted Trust. So, Warren, I wanted to welcome you. Thanks, Suzanne. And see if you would tell us more about Asserted Trust and how it can benefit, for example, the thousands of wholesale members using DIDX.net. Well, for internet telephony service providers who seek to authenticate and authorize users uh, independent of network operators, Asserted Trust is essentially a fraud prevention tool. Unlike the common practice of knowledge-based authentication, in other words, passwords and the like, uh, our product is a soft token that creates a digital signature which can be uh, independently validated anywhere in the call path and thereby uh, produces a trustworthy and reliable authentication credential uh, for network authorization. Okay. So now that makes me think we need to ask this question. What is your view of the current state of internet communication security? Well, uh, you mentioned earlier that I was uh, part of the Illinois Institute of Technology Real-Time Communication Lab. We host an annual conference there, which just got over a couple of uh, weeks ago. And one of the tracks in that conference that I chaired was a security track. It was um, the, the initial presentation that kind of gave an overview of the current state of the industry was done by Dan York, who most people uh, in this space who uh, widely recognized as the chairman of FOIPSA and, and several other uh, positions within the industry. But Dan's um, presentation was titled The Current State of Voice Security, which is sort of boring. But at the last minute, uh, he added the subtitle of Who Gives a Blank? Uh, and so it, it sort of really talked about you know, the current state of, of, of um, real-time communication security and IP networks, which um, paradoxically are really more secure than legacy network if implemented correctly. But uh, security tends to be an afterthought for most of those implementations. And so it's poorly done or not thought of or uh, thought to be a cost center. And as a result of that, we're beginning to see uh, a lot of security attacks in uh, voice over IP and other types of real-time communications, video, uh, et cetera. So in internet systems view, the transition that's taking place right now is one from what we refer to as trust by wire, that's the legacy network, a closed network, uh, intelligent network, and a dumb terminal to trust by authentication. Uh, and uh, unfortunately today, that authentication is being done rather poorly or in some cases not at all. Most users have been, end users, have been conditioned to imagine that their communication tools are inherently secure because they grew up with an inherently secure communication tool. That's not really completely true because phone freaking and so on has been on for a long time, but it's been much more difficult to do. You need to get alligator clips, essentially. Um, mm -hmm. and, but in today's world, uh, uh, that's become much more easy to do. I can. Um, uh, you know, spoof uh, authentication from an internet cafe, cafe halfway around the globe. So, you know, today probably the biggest realized threat is toll fraud. Uh, but, but certainly there are all kinds of other security threats that are taking place, mostly because a number of end users simply aren't aware of the risk. And as a result of that, they don't implement the security protocols that are available. Right. That was exactly what I was looking for, mm -hmm. that right there. Um, now, we are at 4G World. And we all have our reasons for participating in different events, whether they're trade shows or conferences or workshops. But I personally am here to meet with my friends such as Carl Ford from Crossfire and 4GWE um, and, and so forth in the wireless and ISP industry to develop business and also to meet new people and companies like you, Warren Bent, mm -hmm. and your, your uh, in charge system so that I can gather pertinent info and content because I want to share this with our media channels. Mm -hmm. So what about you? 
Well, part of the transition that I mentioned earlier is obviously a, a movement not only to IP-based networks, um, but also uh, to uh, mobile communications. We all want to be able to communicate wherever we're at on whatever network that we're uh, using at that particular point in time. 4G World is obviously one of the leading uh, conferences in the world uh, for uh, uh, talking about that type of transition. And InCharge Systems is, uh, like yourself, here to um, see old friends and make new contacts uh, for uh, business development purposes. Sounds good. So how about those who are listening, um, how, what are the best ways to contact you to connect with you online? Well, my contact information is on our website at uh, www.inchargesys.com. Uh, or my um, email address is just my name, all one word, or invent at inchargesys.com. We'd love to hear from you. Sounds good. Thank you. Thanks.